uh, as for the problem where was the problem here's the problem uh, there's two people person a person B person a has one dollar person B has two dollars person a when they're playing this game has a two-third probability of winning and person B has one-third probability of winning whoever runs out of money loses so here's the game begin begin game right so if a wins right and B wins right the probability of a winning is two out of three the probability of B winning is one out of three right I gotta make this tighter because we're gonna have more branches right let me put this in the center right game begins game begins let's see if we can do this properly so we got a and we got B two-thirds probability of winning one-third probability of winning right person a begins with one dollar person person B begins with two dollars okay whoever runs out of money the game's over right as soon as someone runs out of money the game's over okay now if person B wins because person A only had one dollar game over game over we're here now right when person A wins then you have you can play again because person B now only has one dollar here's person A winning again and person B winning again right probability of A winning again is two-thirds probability of B winning again is one-third right so if person A wins person B is down to one dollar if person A wins again B is down to zero dollars A wins yeah this is where the problem occurs I think not sure if people are interested but down the road oh, okay yeah that one so this one game over game over the issue is this right because if we go down here and then you can play the next round two-thirds and one-third right if this occurs person B wins check this out person B wins so person A had one he had two dollars and then person B had one he had uh, they're back to the original and then if person B wins again game over game over but if person A wins then they're back to B having one dollar and A having two dollars right so what happens here is this pattern is going to repeat A and B right so what happens down the road here using this method you can get an approximation of what the result will be what was the end thing you wanted to know uh, game ends if one is bankrupt what is the probability of a winning the game you can get it close to it using this method I don't know if you can get exact using this method there's another way there has to be a, another way to do this okay but using this method lays down the problem in a way that you can actually visualize it right so probability of a winning is if you go down because at some point the probability is so low that it really doesn't affect the it converges to a number okay dr skill hey i have struggled with the pythagorean theorem i don't know if it's the correct name because i'm german yeah pythagorean theorem is the right angle triangle right let me know what you guys get for this if you do this calculation we'll, we'll do the pythagorean theorem right now i'm just gonna put the question out there for people right this is game over would be one third this would be two thirds times two thirds two thirds times 
two thirds, which is four ninths, right? This one would be two thirds times a third times a third, which would be two twenty sevenths. So you can add these guys up so far, right? What was the original question again? Wait a second. What? Uh, game as of one. What is the probability of a oh of a winning poop? Just a winning. This is B winning, so we don't care about this one. This is also B winning, so we don't care about this one. So so far, probability of A winning is four nines. And then over here again, you can do this calculation would be two thirds times a third times two thirds times two thirds. And you get a number here and you add that to that. Right? And then you do a few more branches. What you're gonna find out it converges to a number. What is that number? Right? That's going to be 889ths, 881st, 8 over 80, 81, 8 over 81. Okay. So 8 over 81 plus 4 over 9 plus what? That doesn't matter. Uh, doop, doop. So this is going to be here. Let's just add this up. 81 multiplied by 9, 36 plus 8, which is going to be uh, 44 over 81. What is that? 44 over. We need to uh, take in limb or something. Yeah, we need to, we need to talk about limits for this. There's no doubt we're doing limits. So we have to come up with an equation, right? So this is saying right now, 54% approximately, right? How much higher is it going to go? 54.32%, 0.32%, right? So that's the lowest uh, that is going to be. It's going to look like higher looks like series yeah it's going to be a series there's no doubt about it right because that's what this is right now so it's going to be something along the lines of something plus something plus something plus something and each one of these guys is going to contribute less and less to the total right and then you do the limit of this you come up with an equation f of x so lim you're going to come up with some kind of function as x, whatever the uh, iterations are, uh, approaches infinity, which is going to be um, most likely um, bah, 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 permutations and stuff, right? Looks like 4 uh, times n minus 1 over 3 to the power of n for n equals 2, 3. Who is Julian Assange? Is he a whistleblower? He is a journalist and a publisher. Um, he's the guy that started off WikiLeaks and allowed whistleblowers to release information on the shenanigans of capitalist power. And he's being crucified in UK prison right now on behest of the US government okay very important person very important person so the formula that uh, dr hang Matt mentions is this he's saying the formula goes like this four n minus one is that the, i'm assuming the star is three to the power of n <laughs> Or is that supposed to be four to the power of it could, it could be that for n for n equaling two three or higher but if it's higher then the probability is going to go zero oh because it's going to contribute less and less right so what's going to happen is as the n goes higher the bottom is going to explode it's going to become bigger than the top so the contribution of these guys is going to be less and less right elder god you got 57 percent i'm rubbish no this is the lower bound there's going to be more 
contrib because we only went two levels on this right there's going to be more coming in from this and this so for sure it could be 57 it's a sum yeah but just eyeballed it yeah yeah it's cool it's cool as far as Pythagorean theorem goes let's do Pythagorean theorem last couple of minutes nice problem by the way nice problem